Hi guys, back again. Going to do another masterclass video for you guys. This one's going to be about how to cook the perfect steak. The steaks that we're going to be using today are the infamous ribeye steak, which for me have the most amount of flavor out of any cut of steak there. These are the steaks we're going to be using. As you can see, they've got lovely marbling and they've got a lot of fat running through them. So these are a higher fat kind of steak. So if you're looking for something a bit leaner, maybe you want to go for a sirloin or a rump. Got these steaks from a guy called John who owns a butcher's in Ladywell called Meat John. The quality of meat is absolutely amazing. As you can see from these steaks, they are unbelievable. Uh, if you're interested in getting some meat delivered, he's doing deliveries at the moment in the Southwest London area. So if you guys want to get some meat, um, I'll put his contact details in the um, description below and follow him on Instagram. Firstly, we want to take the steaks out of the fridge to let them come up to room temperature. Gordon Ramsay taught me many years ago that if you're cooking a steak that has a cold center, you will have to overcook the outside to cook it through thoroughly. I could kill someone. That's the bottom line. It's, um, it's grim. It's fucking grim. And it's out of order. This is why we bring the steaks out of the fridge 30 minutes before they need to be cooking so the middle of the steak isn't cold. Next, we're gonna season the steaks with salt and pepper. This is gonna help enhance the flavor of the steak. And also we're gonna be using black pepper to add a little bit of heat. The next step is to bring a pan to a really high heat and add some olive oil. The secret here is we want to sear the steak. We don't want to boil it, so that's why I want the pan to be really hot. Lay the steaks away from you and let the pan do the work. That sizzle is what you want to hear. If you don't get that, then maybe get it out the pan and get the pan and oil hotter. The way I like my steak cooked is medium rare to rare. So these steaks will not need long at all. We're probably looking at around two to three minutes each side. Really easy to check if your steak is cooked. I like my medium rare to rare. So this part of my palm, I check and then touch the steak. If they're similar texture, then I know it's cooked. When you know it's cooked to your liking, let the steaks rest for five to 10 minutes. All I'm doing now is cutting the meat against the grain, but you could quite easily serve these ones whole. So yeah, there we have it. Um, I've cooked mine medium rare to rare. Um, it's unbelievable, I can't wait to try it. It looks so good, there's so much fat running through it, which is probably not good for me. But you know what, we're gonna go for it. I'm just gonna serve this with some sweet potatoes and broccoli, very simple. If you like these kind of videos, just leave a comment down below and give us some suggestions on other masterclasses that we can do for you. Um, we're more than happy to help, so let's crack on.